guys, I'm Layla. Welcome to Raid Lore Stories. Today we are going to be checking out Martyr. We had been checking out earlier in the channel Athel and the Sacred Order as a whole for the lore. And they also talk about Martyr being a part of that as well. So we're going to check out her in-game lore right now and I hope you enjoy. Many are the songs song of the Martyr of Lumea, though few of these are what one might call cheerful. Clad in silvery mail and armed with a blade lemoned in holy fire, the martyr appears in the darkest of moments where hope is all but lost. The first recorded sighting of the martyr was in the Age of Hellfire during the Second Great War. The story has become a familiar one, an embattled bastion threatened by a horde of demon spawn, a hopeless last stand, and the final moments a flare of silvery light as a holy blade hacked through the ranks of the enemy as the martyr led the defenders in a final charge in Lumea's name. There were no survivors. None that is, save the martyr, who appeared again and again, fighting her way across Teleria. Witnesses claim that she was present for every final stand, every rear guard action, every desperate charge. Whether this is true or mere hyperbole, it is impossible to know. What is known is that she took part in many great battles of that age and often was the only survivor. No matter the extent or severity of the martyr's injuries, no matter the odds stacked against her, she fought on, as if gripped by some divine madness. Others around her caught this fervor and be consumed by it, driven to acts of doomed courage by her mere presence. Some in the sacred order whispered that this mysterious warrior was nothing less than Lumea's wrath made flesh, that she was proof that Lumea was not absent from this conflict, more that she was with them in spirit, if not flesh. Such would explain her sudden appearance on so many battlefields. It was as if she were not a mortal woman at all, but instead a manifestation of holy light itself. The martyr's true name was unknown. None could recall such a being within their own ranks. Those who sought her out, whether to see her for themselves or to ensure that she was what others believed her to be, claimed that she was nothing more than a mortal woman. One of great zeal and faith, to be sure, but a normal woman nonetheless. When the Second Great War came to an end, the martyr vanished as suddenly as she had appeared, at least for a time. There were rumors that she had been seen here or there, hunting demon spawn and battling the undead. But the sightings grew fewer and farther in between, until they ceased entirely. Many believed the martyr to be dead at last. Then came the Red Crusade. The martyr appeared once more at the forefront of the Sacred Order's armies. Whether it was the same woman, impossible as it might sound, or someone new wielding the blade, she fought as before with a passion that was almost madness. She slew skinwalkers, lizardmen, orcs, and ogre with as much enthusiasm as she had shown in killing demon spawn in the Age of Hellfire. And if some claim that she wept sorrowfully as she fought, many in the Order said she wept to see how the true servants of Lamaya were degenerated by their enemies. Even now, the martyr's true identity is unknown. Indeed, some claim that she is not one woman, but many. The martyr is not simply a name or a description, but a rank. That there are many martyrs, women chosen for the purity of their faith and an excess of zeal, to carry the light of Lumet into the darkest of places. Others believe that when one martyr perishes, another is chosen from among the ranks of the sister militants by the sacred order to wield the holy blade once carried by the first woman to bear the name martyr. They say that it has never been thus since the ending of the Age of Hellfire. The most persistent of the story is that there is and has ever only been one martyr, a soul blessed or cursed with eternal life. A woman placed into a shard by the Arbiter whose only peace is found in battling the foes of Lamaya on behalf of the Sacred Order. As to which of these tales is true, if any, only Sacred Order or better yet, the Arbiter knows. Wow, that is quite a story for Martyr. I have to say, I have been covering lore stories for Raid for many years now, and I used to always say that Martyr was a champ. I was surprised we didn't have a story, considering she's such an OG and she's just such a cool champ. I'm glad that they gave her a really neat lore story. You know what I mean? They kind of made it where she... She's kind of, she could be a symbol, right? She's a symbol in a way that many women keep carrying that mantle. Or again, she could be a warrior of legend, one soul being that keeps coming when basically when Talera needs it. I really like this story. I think they did a good job. They did justice for her. Drop me some comments down below what you think of the lore story from Martyr. And thanks so much for watching.